In this next series of lessons, we're going to learn all about epidemiological study designs. They come in two flavors, descriptive and analytical. While both of these types of studies are critical to furthering scientific knowledge and research, each study type falls into a distinct level on the hierarchy of evidence-based science. In our first sketch in this series, Detective Statlock Fox will brief his colleagues on the ins and outs of case reports and case series, describing how these study designs work, as well as their advantages and disadvantages. First on the agenda for today's briefing, the hierarchy. You'll notice the descriptive studies are situated at the bottom of the pyramid and carry the least amount of weight. So that's case reports, case series, ecological studies, which are all descriptive, and cross-sectional, which can be descriptive and analytical. As we move up, our evidence gets stronger. That's the observational studies, so case control, cohort, and then at the top, the experimental study, that is, the randomized control trial. And at the very top of the pyramid is the systematic review and meta-analyses. Case reports and case series are important kinds of descriptive epidemiological studies, symbolized by Statlock's subject description, describing the evidence on hand. By descriptive, we mean that these studies are based on observation by a clinician, usually the treating clinician. They do not use a control group. They do not rigorously study an intervention, that is treatment or prevention. There is no measure of effect, and they do not support association or causation between two factors. Of course, our suspects are innocent until proven guilty. Just like case studies and case series, which do not seek to test or prove hypotheses. This must be done in a rigorously controlled experiment, which is sufficiently powered. Instead, these studies generate hypotheses, just like the generated lead Statlock is detailing to his colleagues. The police station gym must be out of order because our rookie cop here is looking very weak. Time to pump some iron? Our weak cop should help you remember that case reports and case series are weak on the evidence hierarchy. They contribute to a body of knowledge, but they are not sufficient to support best practice or practice guidelines. And they generally cover a rare presentation and are therefore not generalizable. Sounds pretty limited, right? Well, no, there is still great value to these studies. We can learn something new about disease etiology, for example, a unique exposure, an uncommon risk factor, or a covariate like an antecedent or comorbidity. Or perhaps gain a better understanding of pathogenesis, for example, the mechanism of disease onset, progression, or convalescence. These studies may also reveal potential new approaches to treatment and prevention, which can spark creativity and pioneer novel clinical trials. Let's dive a bit deeper. A case report is a short paper on a single patient's experience. It tells a story. Some diseases and presentations are so rare that we only have a few case reports describing them. This single case report on the desk here symbolizes the single patient's story. Well, compare that to the towering stack of multiple cases. In comparison, a case series includes multiple patients who share some commonality like a geographic cluster, environmental exposure, clinic population, or age group. Let's sum up this briefing before we clock out for the day. Study designs are ranked according to their strength of evidence. Descriptive studies are at the bottom, observational studies are in the middle, experimental studies, meta-analyses, and systematic reviews are at the top. Case reports and case series are important kinds of descriptive epidemiological studies. Case reports and case series generate hypotheses. They don't test or prove hypotheses. This must be done in a sufficiently powered, rigorously controlled experiment. Case reports and case series are weak on the evidence hierarchy. And finally, a case report is a short paper on a single patient's experience, whereas a case series includes multiple patients who share some commonality. That's it for case reports and case series. You've got this on lock. Make sure you check out our other sketches in the series starring our star detective Statlock.